Anna from Uganda. Well, according to one of the 40 hadiths on our way, yeah, it says that we have to leave that which we are doubting in to that which we have no doubt about. Um, and also in the photos of the Muslim, for when one is striking by, by his faith, he, is, uh, he or she should say, A'udhu Billah, when uh, then desist from doing what he or she is in doubt about. Now, I got from somewhere that if our parents instruct us to do something when we should, then we should do it, even if we are in doubt about it. According to the hadith of the man, of the man who says, praying, uh, uh, who was praying, and his mother called him, and he was in doubt whether to respond or not. Now, when he continued with the prayers, and didn't respond to his mother his mother's cast quote him so according to uh, according to that the sheikh i had said that uh, we should we should do that which our parents instruct us to do even if we are in doubt about so i just want to have more clarity and is it right no this is not entirely right simply because the hadith leave what's doubtful to what's not doubtful is when you are in doubt. But when you are certain that what your parents are asking you to do is haram, it is totally prohibited for you to obey them. Now, the amount of, if, of doubt is measurable. So if you have 90% doubt that this is not permissible, you have to not obey them until you make sure and certain that this is permissible. But if it is doubtful by 10%, and 90% you have clarity about that, yeah, this is okay. In this case, you have to act upon what they're saying to you because you don't have evidence to back your doubts. It's just mere doubts. So it can be your whims and desires. As for the hadith of Juraj, the priest, when he was praying and his mom called him, he was praying voluntary prayers. So his doubt whether to answer or continue his prayer should not have been there because he should have the knowledge to know that, yes, I must uh, interrupt and break my prayer and to answer my mom. Answering my mom is mandatory. Continuing my voluntary prayer is voluntary. So I should do what is a priority, and that is answering my mother, and I hope this answers your question. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website, and you will find counseling sessions, and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi'ithnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all, بإذن الله.